and welcome to my vlog. I got to go to the Knesset, so here's a look at my trip. We went on a field trip to the Knesset for my Israeli politics class, and the Knesset is part of Israel's government. Well, actually, um, the Prime Minister and 20 ministers are officially what is considered Israel's government. But the Prime Minister meets in this building along with 20, the 20 members. Some of them are members of the Knesset, which the Knesset has 120 members. So it was a really interesting field trip to be able to go. And we ended up getting to meet with three of the Knesset members. Um, so here's a map of all of the 120 members of the Knesset. So first we had a meeting with Knesset member Isaac Herzog, who is a member of the later party and a leader of the opposition, which means that he is against the Prime Minister Netanyahu, which he's pictured with here. And then here is a picture of his father, who was actually president of Israel. Um, the Labor Party is against the Zionists. They um, are more towards the two-state solution um, and so this would be more considered a social democrat. Isaac gave us a tour and brought us to the place where the modern whaling wall, the new state of Israel. He then showed us this artwork, which I found really interesting. Of course, we start in the right because we're in Israel and it's a story of creation. And then as we move across the painting, it shows us the creation of the state of Israel. The tabernacle and King David and the story of the Jewish people. And finally, the creation of the state of Israel, which you see is like in Jerusalem, is a bubble, like a dream, which is quite fantastic. And here we hold all our special... We then walked by Prime Minister Netanyahu's office. Right here it says, Netanyahu in Hebrew. We then met member of the Knesset Yehuda Glick, who is part of the Likud party, which is the Prime Minister's party. We got to speak with his assistant, who shared with us what the party believes. Mainly, they believe in a one-state solution. They want to have the West Bank, which they call Judea and Samaria, become part of Israel. They want to extend sovereignty to that area and eventually have the Palestinians become citizens of Israel. He also told us about his views on the Temple Mount, which they are trying to um, give equality to everybody. They want to have equal rights to the, all of the religions to be able to pray on the Temple Mount. And they, he especially was talking more about liberal views. He believes in LGBTQ. He also was saying that all of these religions are praying to the same God, which I disagree with. However, he um, also talked about how he wants to be a light to the nations. So it was really interesting to meet with him and hear about the Likud's party. We then met with a member of the Merit's party. Their goal is for peace and human rights. They're more of a social democratic party. They want equal rights to all the citizens. They believe in the 1967 borders of Israel. And so they want to sign a peace agreement where they would give back the West Bank, the Gaza Strip, and also the Golan Heights to have peace with the Palestinians. It was a really cool field trip. It was so interesting to be able to meet with these members of the Knesset. They all three come from very different parties with very different views. So it was super good experience. And also I want to note that we went to the Knesset on November 29th, which 70 years ago to the day is when the UN signed the partition plan allowing for the state of Israel. So very, very cool. Um, I hope that you learned something. If you have any questions, please ask because I don't know everything and I probably explain things not so well. But I hope that you like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!